A while back, I made a video that included a small segment on reload times and how they're not faster than quick switching. After trying to comment this on a thread and being told I was wrong when it came to random guns, I decided to look into the issue myself. To time this, I would shoot and hold my reload button, and then shoot as fast as I could after the reload. I would do this again with quick switching and then record both. This means that it doesn't track the reload time and rather just compares reload time. This was done in one fourth of the usual game speed, but I would speed it back up to normal time. This way I can get four times more specific to see when a gun fires, which hopefully makes this super duper accurate. The only downside is my 60 FPS recording does somewhat give some room for error, but from what I found this was usually around 15 milliseconds of difference between frames. For reaction time, I'd estimate I'd have around 20 milliseconds of delay because of the slowed down time along with me being able to predict when the number will change, which will allow me to go super fast. I'd say a difference of 35 or more milliseconds between reload times would make something significant. I hope this is good enough. What did I find? Well, it appears that for almost every gun, the quick switch is indifferent. Most guns either had the exact same time in Sony Vegas, or it's below 20 milliseconds of difference. However, this was in perfect situations, so in normal time, you're practically guaranteed to lose some time with these indifferent guns. But even in perfect conditions, there were some guns that were significantly slower in reloading and quick switching. I'll put some colors to show the significant guns. The art takes a longer amount of time since the gun is practically ready whenever the number switches, so if you quick switch, then you're just adding on time. The same kind of applies with the dualies, just on extreme, and for the CZ, its ridiculous pullout time causes it to lag behind. Other than that, there are no guns that appear to be faster when quick switching. It appears that Valve knows of this by looking at many guns. It seems like whenever a gun is about to beat the normal reload speed, it suddenly chokes and lets the normal reload catch up. And that's about it. I was right about something on the internet. Go me!